new players! Welcome to the website of Shadowland Online. This is your GM, X Rising speaking. And no, I am not a guy as many as you have thought before. And I'm here to guide you today through a quick tutorial to get you customed to our game. Let's get started. So assuming you've already registered an account with us, which is really not that hard considering there's a fat button that says register right here, go ahead and type in your username and your password. And don't forget your verification code. Once you've logged in, you should now be able to see the screen. Scroll down and press the Play Now button. Go ahead and select the server you'd like to play on. At this point, you will be shown an intro movie describing the history behind Shadowland Online. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to skip it. I'm not saying that you should too. Here at the character select screen, you will have the option of choosing to be one of three surviving human factions. The first is the Mercenary Cooperative, second is the Nobilis, and third is the Tribal Union. Go ahead and pick the one that you like the best. Here you can choose what kind of troops you'd like to recruit. You can choose between the cavalry or the infantry, which are both physical based troops, or you can choose from the mages, which are magically based. Once you've selected what kind of troops you'd like to recruit, go ahead and choose a role name. At this point, you should encounter an in-game tutorial, but for the purposes of this video, we're going to dive right into the beginnings of this game. You will now see before you your town hall, your dragon training grounds, your dwellings, and your shop. It is extremely important to upgrade your town hall because it will help you unlock new buildings and help you upgrade those buildings as well. The levels of your other buildings also cannot exceed the level of the town hall. Let's start by upgrading your dwelling. Upgrading your dwelling increases the amount of gold coins you can collect, and you can collect from your town at least 10 times a day. It would be good for you to know that every time you upgrade a building, you will trigger a building cooldown as well. As you come to familiarize yourself with our game, you will begin to experience other cooldowns, such as when you're battling enemies. Now let's make your heroes stronger for battle. Click on the Dragon Training Grounds. Placing your hero in the Dragon Training Grounds will increase the amount of experience they earn, as well as their levels. Increased levels means increased amount of troops that will join you in battle. Every strong hero needs good gear, so let's do some window shopping. Having gold coins will help you purchase weapons, armory, accessories, and horses. Whenever you want to equip your hero, click on the army icon and click the equip tab. You can just as easily detach your weaponry if you would like to sell it or give it to another hero. Always be mindful of your equipment bonuses so you know if your equipment is right for you. If you're wondering what this goblet is getting all excited for, that's your task icon. Completing certain tasks will give you more gold coins, which is always a good thing. Time to see what lies beyond your town. Outside of your town, you will find mines, crops, and expeditions. Mining at the gold mine is an excellent way to earn money, as well as find cash gift if you're lucky. You will experience a 1 hour cooldown with these mines, but you are welcome to replenish them if you want to spend 20 diamonds. Diamonds are a special currency that will increase many of the game's features. Now let's look at your crops. These are one of the best ways to make money in the game. You can plant up to 9 crops at a time, and you can always plant wheat. Higher level crops will have a cooldown time, however, they will also yield a higher level of production. Always make sure to plant and harvest your crops so you can sell them for a good price at the market, which you will unlock later. Lastly, you can conduct expeditions. Expeditions yield powerful equipment that is not available in battle. Different expeditions yield different levels of equipment. Which equipment you manage to obtain is entirely up to chance.
That concludes our quick overview of the town. Wasn't too painful, right? Now I bet you're itching for battle, so let's travel through the Gate of Ages. When you click on an enemy, you have two options, attack or strategy. Clicking on strategy allows you to view other players' encounters with the same exact battle. During a battle sequence, armies will attack depending on the formation that they are placed in. Mousing over your troops will allow you to see how many troops you have remaining, as well as your morale to launch a special attack. After the battle, you might notice that your chat window says you have obtained battle achievements. Battle achievements can be used for many important things, including speeding up your hero's training process in the Dragon Training Grounds. There's one more important feature to show you, and that is the blacksmith. Go ahead and upgrade your town hall to level 3. At the blacksmith, you will be able to upgrade your equipment depending on the level of the blacksmith. So, for example, if your blacksmith is level 6, the max level of your weaponry, or your equipment, can be level 6 as well. It is good practice to keep mindful of your upgrades, because they will tell the difference between a losing battle and a winning one. This concludes my beginner's tutorial. If you ever have any questions, feel free to ask them in the World Channel or use the Live Help feature on our Shadowland Online website. I look forward to seeing you in-game! Happy conquering!